Before you can make your game, it's best to make a prototype to test if the idea is any good at all. And when you do, it's totally okay to realize that your game sucks. So let me tell you about all the prototypes I've made that did not make the cut. I am so going to regret this. <laughs> if at some point during this video you recognize yourself because you have a bunch of terrible prototypes or unfinished games, don't worry, I got something for you later in the video. First up, just to get the pain out of the way, this is one of the first games I have ever made in Unity. And it was definitely my first 3D game. And I thought it was gonna be huge. What kind of game is it, you ask? I don't know. It's called March to the Beach, and it was inspired by a song that I really like. And with the title, the similarities kinda end. You can only walk around a mostly empty house and mess with light switches. Game of the year, right there. It's ugly, it's bad, it has no beach whatsoever. And that kind of makes sense, because I had no idea what I was doing. The mess of story I wanted it to have did not exist. So obviously, this was never gonna get far. However, I need you to know that this is not my first ever prototype. Because I don't want to talk about this one. <laughs> but how about a more recent one? One that I was trying to see if it would make sense for my next commercial game. Well, that would be Roomba time. Yes. A Roomba game. What's not to love about that? Apart from the fact that it has no fun gimmicks or interesting mechanics whatsoever. Not even cool murdering God. abilities. In Roomba time, you play as a Roomba. Wow. Obviously, you try to clean the house, as you do. But you gotta keep track of your battery percentage, as well as emptying the trash inside you every now and then, so you can keep going. And when you have enough points, a new room unlocks that you now also have to manage. Honestly, the concept sounded fun. It still does, especially considering the fact that there were upgrades. And people love upgrades. But this was an example of a prototype proving that sometimes the idea just doesn't work out. Sometimes your idea is just straight up doo-doo when put to the test. Some Roomba time got thrown in the trash. Next up is a game idea inspired by a movie. A movie that I really, really hate. I hate it so much that I get angry just thinking about it. This is Mortal Engines, the game. What? The concept is really cool, a city on wheels. That's basically what the game would be, but without the cringy story. <laughs> I was thinking maybe an RTS, something like StarCraft or Command and Conquer, but on moving islands or cities. Sounds awesome to me, and it still kind of does. But wanna know what killed this game? Apart from my insane amount of hatred for the movie, I have a tiny brain. Sure, it's grown over the years, but 2018 me was very bad at game development. My units just kept flying to the side like some limp goat whenever I tried to move an island. So no, <laughs> no RTS for me. <laughs> God, I hate it. Well then, how about a survival game with farming and machines and building and resource management? Pick your poison. I got plenty of them. No, really, I got like six. While I don't think that these prototypes are necessarily bad in what I was hoping to achieve, I'd say they're bad because they're not real prototypes. They're attempts at making games. And when you do so without any idea of what works and what doesn't, and with no plan whatsoever, you're gonna fail. A lot. And I definitely did. Shoot. Shoot him. You can do it. Oh god, there's green guys following me as well. This is a terrible tower defense, just saying. You've got nothing against me. I am too powerful with my weird turrets that are not rotating properly. <laughs> I can't believe I thought that this was gonna be a good game. <laughs> Obviously, I could add more and more to this list. Like a 2D stealth game that's probably the buggiest mess I have ever seen, if you don't count Battlefield 2042. Or what about a game about managing all your needs for survival, like breathing, eating, drinking, sleeping? That one I realized really sucked before I really got anywhere, thankfully. Or maybe a parkour game that's basically the entire movement of the character Race from Valorant and you try to get as far as possible in a randomly generated world. Sounds fun! Did not work out though. 
I got plenty more I could mention, even games that I made on this channel that could have been fun but were beyond what I could do or wanted to do. But all in all, it's also important to know that that is not all there is. I didn't fail to make games for 7 or 8 years. Yeah, I know, I'm old, please stop reminding me. If you only look at the games that you didn't make, that were not good enough, you'll lose sight of what you did do. In my case, I finished all these projects. Some better than others, I admit. Due to a global outrage, the majority of your friend group now dislikes Paris. <laughs> This is so ridiculous, I forgot. But I did finish them. Or with some, I finished them. Yo, this song is sick. Holy crap. I even managed to release a game on Steam last year, for which there will be a sick content update soon, by the way. And now I'm working on my next commercial game after finding the right prototype. You can find the link to wishlist that in the description below, by the way. So don't be discouraged by bad prototypes. It happens and it will most likely happen a lot more. You learn what you want to make, you learn how to work and you'll get better with time. And before you know it, you're $100 lighter and freaking out about how to market your game now that you finally finished it. Alright, let me know if you want to see me talk about more of my bad prototypes. Like and subscribe. Bye!